Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. Uh, who is this? This funny Milani! I'm the real person! I was like, come on, this is prime opportunity. She's gotta fucking say it! Yes! That's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for her to say phony baloney forever. She's been saying nincompoop and all this other stupid shit. But no, phony baloney all the way, baby! And now, back to channeling people! Hello! Sneak up Back with some more Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. When we last left off, we completed some dumb DLC cases, which were totally not worth $4 each. Seriously, that was just too fucking tiny. I mean, granted, I knew, I mean, you guys had already told me beforehand that they were gonna be short, and if this were just me, like, playing by myself, I never would have fucking bought them. But as a YouTuber doing a Let's Play, you know, I, I like to try to do as much as I can in a game. Basically, I'm spending $8 so you don't have to. <laughs> but for the price of what it was and what you're getting, it, it really is a bit of a ripoff. I mean, just as, like, comparison's sake, the DLC case, I think, is $6. So it's $2 cheaper for, like, a 30-minute to an hour-long case. It is for a DLC case, which I'm gonna bet it's probably the standard, like, three to four hours. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. I think I heard you guys say that, uh, these were originally, uh, pre-order bonuses, um, and then they added it on, like, later on. I mean, I think if they were gonna charge it, though, I feel like it should have been maybe, maybe a dollar, you know? Because it really just wasn't much to it. And while they were goofy and entertaining, like, I felt like Phoenix's was definitely the weakest one. I thought Apollo's was was good. I, I, I enjoyed his. I like the, the callbacks to, to Dual Destinies, Jinxy and stuff. I kind of wish they brought up the Cosmos Space Center. It, it would have been nice, actually, if, like, Athena had gone there, you know, again, then that would have felt like, like, oh, she's going back to where she used to live again, and I don't know, just would have really gotten that nostalgia, but they were like, ah, fuck it, we're reusing assets for two areas, and Screw that other place. <laughs> but anyway, now to move on to the actual legitimate DLC case of the game. And I believe it's called the Turnabout Time Traveler, is that right? Yeah. But I've had a lot of you guys say that I should try to avoid um, something in this intro cutscene. <laughs> God damn, okay. Uh, apparently the moment I see a clock face, I should shut my eyes and count to five. And then open my eyes again. Okay, I'm hmm, trying to think like, there's somebody in here. It's gotta be someone we've seen before. That's what you guys want me to react to, right? Um, I'm hoping it's someone like Gumshoe or, or something. That'd be pretty tight. Uh, God damn it. Better not be a fucking, uh, better not be Old Bag. It better not be goddamn Larry either. Come on, be a good character. Fulbright, back from the dead. <laughs> the real live Fulbright. I don't know, give me something good. All right, turn about time traveler. Let's get started. Okay, keep an eye out for a clock face. Special episode. So I'm guessing this takes place after the uh the main story. I think it's I'm what you guys told me before. Heartless. I'll even throw that time machine you cherish so much overboard with you. I think it's Matthew Mercer. Please take me back, back to that blissful moment. Uh oh, okay, probably now. Three. Four, five. It's almost time for the reception, Malay. Okay, I didn't see anything. It actually really worked. I'm guessing that was, that was kind of a clock face, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was right. Okay. I didn't see anything. Okay, so she... Wait, was that real? I thought it was a TV show we were watching. So she... Did you just travel back in time? Using the power of... Something or other? Well, maybe, maybe we all watch TV. September 21st, 10, 13 a.m. Right, anything agency. I'm back to controlling Phoenix. Oh, well. Okay, let me make sure I've got this straight. When your magic panties appear, <laughs> I do a backflip and do a handstand and then blow up the candle. No, no, Athena. Cut it all wrong. You do a backflip through the ring of fire while holding the candle in your mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Does no one will ever be able to do that. <laughs> Polly could do it. <laughs> I miss Polly. Sure you can. I believe in you, Athena. Drosy, what do you want Athena up to? By which I mean, what are you making Athena do? Athena has agreed to be a part-time performer in my magic show. I couldn't say no to some extra cash, but I probably should have thought, so thought it through first. Now it's human cannibalist guilty that! It's like I have no lives 
you know? Oh, actually, now that I think about it, if, if, uh... If this is after the game, then uh, Apollo's probably not going to be in this, is he? Because he's going to be working in Karai, unless he pops in for a bit. I hope he does, but I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. You made your bed, Athena. Now you got to lie in it. No! Too young to be taking out a life insurance policy already! You're going to die, Athena! Now you know what i got to deal with on a daily basis. God, do we really have to do this? Is anyone really going to play the DLC games before they play through some of the original game? My name is Phoenix Wright. And I'm the head of this fucking law office. You know this already, though. And if you don't, well, fuck you. So when did you become the head of this office, Daddy? I mean, who exactly does all the cleaning, accounting, and scheduling around here, huh? Ah, you're right. I don't do shit. You got me there, Tracy. This is Tracy Wright, my baby girl. She's my adopted daughter and a magician. And I keep forgetting who this person is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Athena Thun Sykes. Rising Star Lawyer of the Red Anything Agency! Or rather, the Rising Star Assistant to Trucy, you mean. If I don't get back into a courtroom soon, I'm going to forget everything I ever learned. Speaking of the courtroom, we haven't exactly had any clients lately, have we? Uh... Business is slow as ever, huh, Nick? It's gotta be... Uh... Bet you made more money back when you play the piano! Yeah? Um... money for this I paid money for this I paid money for fucking Larry oh you guys suck ah oh, this is the fucking cuckoo birds all over again you don't tell me this shit because you want to see me in pain this is fucking pain oh my god why guys why why would you do this to me oh did you just you just knew right you were like Oh, Nico, he might not play it if we tell him that Larry's in it. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, I don't want to. No, dude. No. No, I want you to go back to being dead. And just show up randomly in the gallery and I'm ad-libbing shit. Come on, Larry. No. No, no. I don't want it. Ah! No, I thought he'd never show up again. I thought we were done with you after what? Yeah, we hadn't seen you since the uh, fucking Ace Attorney Investigations games. I thought after the original trilogy you were fucking dead. God damn it! Oh, you guys fucking suck. I hate you so much right now. I love you guys, but fuck you. Yo, long time to see you. Fuck. God damn it. What? Larry! Larry! <laughs> What's up, dude? Why are you vomiting all over the place? Oh, uh, no. All my drinks fucking been smashed to pieces. I can't believe I spent fucking $6 on you, Larry. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in years. I'm not complaining about that, though. What brings you here all of a sudden, and you're still a fucking artist, I see. You know, did anyone else think that that was just like a one-time thing? That, like, like, I think he did that in the second game, right? He showed up as an artist. I thought he would, like, turn into something else or get a new job in, like, a next game. But no, he just, like, stayed like that the whole time. I think his suit might be new, too. Oh, uh, yeah, it is, because he normally wears that, uh, pink smock or whatever. Yeah, dude, I think... I got some little, like, John Lennon sunglasses. The pink ones. I got them for fucking Emma, dude. We're dating now. <laughs> what? I know, I just, I can't help but fall for the big losers who can't do anything on their own. I've got a problem, I know. Some big news, that's what, dude. Um, okay. Just strawberries on that, that suit. Who's this guy, boss? Run, Athea! Run while you're still cat! Uh, okay! All right, boss! Oh my god, who's this kitty, dude? I'm gonna get her, dude! <laughs> ah! Ah! She's a Mr. Right! Run! Run! No! Oh, damn it! Larry's gotten faster since I last saw him! This is Larry Butts. My sworn enemy. He's, um... I also say he's an old friend of mine. So, Larry, 
What's so big they had to come and tell me in person? What's so big they need to make an entire DLC case about it? I'm guessing this is probably what you guys are fucking referring to there, right? This had this had to be it. Please! Please! Oh god, please. I'm begging you. I cannot take Larry's enough, for right? I cannot take Obek. Please don't let Obek show. Please, please, God. Alright. Oh god. Oh. Oh that they've it's happened before though. That's the other thing. They always tend to show up in pairs, and I fucking can't take it, alright? I can't- my psyche can't take any more of them together! If I have to have one, please do not have the other! There's somebody watching me, dude! Hey, you coming now? No! Please don't be all back! Uh, oh, it's probably the- no, it's gotta be the lady, right? From before. Alright! Oh, it is. And she, she's in a wedding dress. How do you do? Uh, hi! Th that dress? Is that a wedding dress? Yes, it is. My name is Ellen Wyatt. Ellen Wyatt. Uh, I don't hear the pun. A domestic servant and made at the Sprocket house household. Sprocket? As in Sprocket Aviation? Yes, that's the one. Wow, Mr. Wright! Sprocket Aviation is a really big airline company! You've heard of Rainbow Airlines, right? The one they call Ral for short. I think I might have been the one in the, uh, base attorney investigations, too. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Well, it's run by Sprocket Aviation. I see. What is Sprocket family maid doing here in a wedding dress? Oh my god, are you marrying this poor girl, Larry? So actually, we decided to get married. God, why? Why? Why would anyone want to do that? Are you in d under duress? Do you need help? Should I call the police? You what now? I'm not so young anymore than you now, dude! How old are you? Exactly! Oh, you're not in here yet. I figured it's time to finally settle down, dude! Oh my god, look at me with all my classic Larry shitty <laughs> expressions. Look at this little douchey face of mine. <laughs> what? Oh god, please don't have- don't do your really weird mouth thing. You're getting married? No way. I don't believe it. Besides, we, she's way out of your league. Why would someone as well put together as her choose- Someone as flaky as Larry! You're kidding, right? Come on. Jealous! I'll blame you! The green's really not your color, you know! <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit now! I'm even more of a piece of shit, dude! Huh. Alright, Larry, lay it on my god, he really does look at that! Look at that look on his face! He looks cocky as shit there! Man, that was not a new expression, but I think in 3D it just looks cockier! You getting married, dude? Okay, actually, wait. No, now, now he's probably showing up, right? Okay. I'm 30 fucking 4, dude! An old friend of mine and an aspiring picture book author. As you used to say, when something smell, it's usually the butts. Ah! Ah, oh, the stank! So much stank! In all serious, Larry, wh are you really getting married? Not right away, but that's the plan, dude! Getting loop? See, like, love on the run, I guess you could say! Isn't that right, Ellie? <laughs> she's she's thinking about it. That's a good sign. Uh. Larry, I do believe there's been a major misunderstanding here. <laughs> okay, good. I was about to say. All right, if there's there's something really wrong with this lady, otherwise. My heart already already belongs to another. Huh? What the hell, dude? <laughs> Bitch, no, you love me. I'm in love with Sora. Sora? What the fuck? You're in love with a Kingdom Hearts character, you weeb? Get out of my sight, loser! Not you! <laughs> Say what? <laughs> That's about what I thought, okay. Uh. <laughs> Never mind, cops. You don't have to come here. B but Ellie, baby! Were you running away with me so we get married, dude? As I said, you misunderstand. I never said that. I never said that! You said you'd help me escape. That's the only... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should give it... She looks very posh. Let me give her a bit of a British accent. You said you'll... you'd help me escape. That's the only reason I ran away with you. Ah! 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 Nick did! Ah, oh, God damn it, Larry. <laughs> this is not happening. Not for the 83rd time. I even should go to the police for you. And for what? <laughs> the... What? <laughs> you chase my police again, Larry. That's it, we can't be together! My life's over! I'm gonna end it off! Just fucking kill me! Kill me right now, Nick! 
Oh my god. Wow, they actually did a really good job converting all the sprites over to uh, 3D. Wait, back up. You say you shook off the police. Yes, we had to. Because we're lovers of the lamb, dude. Sorry, Miss Wyatt, but can you fill me on on what the dicks is going on? To tell the truth, I'm being pursued by the police some murder suspect. M murder? They think you killed somebody. Happened to find a dead body in my reception, so the suspicion fell onto me. They had me confined in a separate room. And that's when Larry came along and helped me escape. Uh, I'm sorry, but... What? <laughs> uh, I did! Me and Ellie were gonna elope! We are gonna put all the life for true love! <laughs> Why? Why am I not in jail yet? But the police tried to stop us, so we had to scramble shake them off, dude! Where did it all go wrong? I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, I'm vomiting! <laughs> Pollock walks in. Hey, guys, how's- Oh, God, who's that? I don't even know who that is, but I'm vomiting. Oh, my God, now you guys are vomiting. I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> oh, God, everyone has- It's like that episode of Family Guy. Please help me. This police are sure to be intensifying their search. Look, it's even on TV. Well, that's not what we think the lady is. Oh, shit, the right inside my apartment. Fuck. Law news on the murder suspect and an identified man on the run for the police. But the suspect, Miss Adam Wyatt, has been, re just been released by the police. So I'll say the 21-year-old is suspected of clubbing the victim. 25-year-old du Dumas Gloomsbury. Oh, that's uh, doom and gloom, right? I think that's the bomb pun. To death in wedding reception hall after her banquet. Okay, so that was, that was the guy who was attacking her, right? And then she suddenly, like, teleported away? Two features are said to be highly agitated and dangerous. You see them? <laughs> highly agitated. Yeah. I've got to be shitting my dick right now. Oh, brother. I guess the speeds are technically harboring a pair of fugitives here, huh? Yeah, I'm going to jail again. I mean, I mean, boo. <laughs> oh, Nick. What's going on, dude? Tell me, tell me hardcore. And now we're all going to jail, dude. I'm the one who should be crying. Oh, uh. Why? Why do I open my door when you answer? Actually, how did you even get in here? Why don't we lock this door, Tracy? I've seen you in ages. Where have you been all this time? Just snorting cocaine and sucking dick, Nick. What? I, I mean, you know, just doing art shit. And, uh, anyone can I borrow some money? Me, don't know. I feel like I stopped living in rock. Get out more, dude. I'm the hippiest, hottest picture book author in the business. Laurie's to- Oh my god, what the- Laurie Sturdum! Ah, oh god! Not that fucking name again, and why? Why do you now have a pipe and a mustache and John Lennon glasses? I can't believe you didn't know that I'm taking the picture book world by storm, dude! Oh, but I know you! You're the one who wrote Fancy's Whippity Whip Trip, right? Oh, you mentioned it. I think I did hear something about a one hit wonder. <laughs> one hit wonder? What the heck, Nick? Just because I made one? And nothing else. Oh, if you know, I just created a brand new character to moderate acclaim. He's mildly popular with 18 24 year old women everywhere. Look, you see his cute self all over this jacket. Uh, oh, is that what that is? That was a heart or something. What? That heart shaped pork chop? He's not a pork chop, dude. He's the main character of my latest picture book. A lovely little soul who pierces the hearts of lovers with his airs of a more Come piglet! <laughs> Come piglet! Just a whip rip off a way to poo, I'm suing you! You see this adorable fellow make his debut in Come Piglet's Lovey Dovey Lark! In stores now! All for only $39.99! Are you shitting me? Because I've never seen that book in stores now or ever. Well, if you ever do see it, do me a favor, buy a copy or two, will you? And also give me a call because the book doesn't really exist, so that means somebody stole my idea. But I thought you were taking the picture of Book World by storm. <laughs> hey, you! You're the fat alien car, right, buddy? Please, I'm begging you. I didn't murder anyone. I swear, I'm as clean as pure as a pure white dress. No sucky locks, because that means she's telling the truth. But I'll bring a fugitive on the run. What am I getting myself into? There's actually one more thing I really need to tell you. Oh. You might find this hard to believe, but the truth is, I'm a time traveler. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I follow. After the wedding reception, I was attacked. I was moments away from my death. 
But then, in that instant, I made a wish upon this pendant around my neck. And I went back in time to just before the reception started. Oh. Only this time around, the man who was trying to kill me was already dead. <laughs> He's already dead. And somehow I became the suspect for his murder. It's as if history had been rewritten. Now, wait just a minute here. Where'd you find this crackhead, Larry? I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, damn it. Why did I auto scroll there? Now, oh, what's going on? Uh, what did I say? I don't understand. Are you saying that? Uh, Mr. Wright! There are, there are puzzles outside! It's not just one or two, but a whole bunch! Maybe Gumshoe will show up. Maybe we can redeem this DLC case. Daddy! The whole squad of officers is the building surrounded! <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, damn it, Larry! It's the police. There's no escape! Pop your weapons come out with your hands up! <laughs> Nick, what do we do, dude? Heck if I know! Take Larry! I see a bunch of armed officers out there. One, two, three. Forty-four! Forty-five! Wow! Talk about overkill! <laughs> Holy shit! Apparently I thought this pristine girl in her wedding dress was incredibly dangerous. Let's see you criminals. Think about what you're putting your poor pants through. My parents are dead. Just isn't how they raise you. Think about their smiling faces and their warm home cooked meals. Ah! Who the heck are you? Detective. Now, now hold on there. Hey! You can't go in there. It's too dangerous. Wait! It's gotta be him, all right. Is everything okay in here, Mr. Wright? Hi, Emma. I was kind of hoping for gumshoe, but I like you too. Uh, Emma! Sorry for all the commotion. Um, so what in the world's going on? Well, I raced on over as soon as I heard that it was Mr. Butt who hold himself up in here. <laughs> but the murder suspect after he made off with her. And the fleet of patrol cars. Please, sir, be extra careful. Because apparently, a certain somebody yelled out. Stay back! I have a bomb! I'm sure you can guess who I'm talking about. <laughs> well... Please for being so persistent. I did, I did something. So try bluffing, dude. I'm going to jail forever, dude. <laughs> Seriously, are you out of your mind, Larry? You know, like you do in court, Nick. Just push the shit right out my ass. Please let me out of this. And also just leave me alone. Well, Mr. Wright, I'm bringing you the... I bring this young lady in for questioning. So if you want to talk with her, you'll have to do it down at the detention center. Ah. Uh. So just thank you for your thoughtful gift of trouble and mayhem, Larry! Come on, Nick! Gotta get down to the tent set right away! Listen, Larry. I haven't even decided whether I'm going to take on this case or not. Come on, you paid six dollars for this, right? Don't you want to go on adventures just like the old days? No! But I know you will, cause you did! Yes, I've got no choice but to tag along and help then. What? And skip by out on me? Well, I just start practicing your repertoire, you know? Huh? You better stay in practice with Trucy Athena. Promise is a promise after all. That's cool, boss. You gotta be out of out of this! I got the You're gonna die in this place, Athena. Let's get practicing, Athena. Next up is some training for the nip water tank escape trick. Stick your head in the bucket of water and hold your breath for 15 minutes! <coughs> what am I practicing to be a football player? Eep! No! Stop! I'm here! <laughs> All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you guys to kill each other. Back later. Bye. Ah, she's getting away. You get back here, Athena. I'm going to get you. No. Ah. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ah, I love seeing the bond like that. Just the only person cut out of me, Trish's assistant, is Apollo. Well, so we better get to the detention center ask Miss, Miss White some questions. Yeah, I guess we're probably not going to see Apollo at all. So you about that old time-traveling business she was talking about. Uh, God damn it, Larry. Why, oh, wait. I just wonder if we get any fluff text. Hey, Larry! Will you comment on the spaghetti? Or am I just gonna talk to myself? Man, I just this place up every once in a while. So, if ever. We're going to use this all this stuff sometime soon, and again, anyway. So, it's probably better to leave things where they are. <laughs> they let her keep the bouquet. September 21st, and center visitor's room. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. Miss Wyatt, would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Nick's gonna defend you, Ellie! Isn't that great? L Larry! I told you I haven't decided yet! You sit your butt down! B b b b 
Wow! Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was a whoa. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Wait, what, 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 whoa, sorry, sudden change of personality alert, what the hell? Uh, you're not going to take my case? <laughs> oh, okay, well, maybe, uh, you, Larry, do deserve Larry then, you, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? <laughs> ah, I'm never gonna be happy, <laughs> what the, oh my God, what's happening, stop, ah, they let her carry the frying pan in there! Miss Wyatt! What the? Did I do something wrong? Where's all that water going? <laughs> Miss Wyatt, please calm down! Ah! Oh, oh my god, this episode's already fucking crazy! I'm innocent, I tell you! <laughs> but the police won't believe me! And neither will anyone else! I'm gonna die all loaded in jails! <laughs> That's got a ladle now! <laughs> What? What? This is so fucking random! Why? Why are you paying in a ladle? So, eh? Alright, alright, I'll do it! I'll take your case! Just play, stop crying, and smack in your ladle and pan together! Really? You will? The fact that Larry was the one who brought you to me had, a, had me a little worried, but... You don't seem like a killer to me, you just... You seem like a different kind of crazy. Ah! <laughs> uh, thanks, Nick! How do you come through? Oh, Jesus Christ. Now I'm dealing with both of you. No, you were supposed to be the yin to y Larry's yang lady! I don't need more crazy in my life. Do I really have a choice? I guess not! Ha <laughs> Such be you, Nick! <laughs> in any case, it does seem like Miss Y killed anybody. <laughs> Wait, did she- when she blinks, does it stop for a second? Oh no, she she doesn't blink, she just keeps going. Plus they're like I'm up to my ears and work at the moment. <laughs> I mean, if I drink it and then spray it out again like SpongeBob. It's like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Miss Miss Wyatt! Hello, let's let's do this together. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Wright! There, there, it's gonna be okay. Now try to pull yourself together. All right, just give me a moment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, back to being a, back to being cute again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm truly grateful to you for taking all my defense, Mr. Wright. Sure. No problem. Wow. She really pulled herself together. Oh my god. That was really, that really caught me off guard. Fuck. Oh, hey. Look. Corner patch. Damn it, no response. Fuck. No, it all start getting weird on me. Okay, suspicion of murder. Ellen, please tell me everything you can about this incident. All right. It happened after the wedding reception. I was attacked. By Mr. Gloomsbury. Mr. Gloomsbury, the name of the victim in that news report. I should listen to what she has to say first, though, before I start asking questions. Tell me now. How did that guy lay hands on somebody else's blushing bride? What a creep, dude! That's rich, coming from you. <laughs> Do you have any idea why he'd attack you? No, but. But what? Well, to tell the truth, Mr. Gloomsbury didn't seem very happy about me getting married. Oh no! No! Damn it! He's doing the fucking face. Yeah, you, know, you know they actually made it a little less. No, no, it's still weird. It's it's not as pointed in the corners as it was before, but it's still weird looking. It's my fucking weird ass face, dude. Chase jealous much? What a loser! Mr. Gloomsbury forced me onto the Vista deck. I was going to push me off. Oh, how frightening it all was. I was just about to lose my life. It should have been the happiest day of my life. So that's why I made a wish upon this pendant. A pendant? Yes. It was a gift from my husband to be, Soren. It says a symbol of our love. So you made a wish on it? Now, you may think what I'm about to say is very strange, but. 
back to the pendant, please. Take me back. Back to that blissful moment. Do you know what? It worked. Brought me back to just before the reception started. Um, so that's the time traveling thing you mentioned back at my office. I'm sorry, but I have to say, it's pretty unbelievable. Oh god. I'm smelling a bullshit plot explanation in this case. Whenever we get to the shit that gets like really like ridiculous, like most like flying people, the explanations as to how, why it happens, it could be a serious coin flip. Sometimes it's okay, and other times are just completely ridiculous. Uh, unbelievable! <laughs> I knew you would never believe me! Nick! Ellie's not as good as time traveler, dude! What the hell was that expression, Larry? I know! I learned how to point my finger too, dude! Don't you believe your own client? The magic of that pen sent her back in time for the creep could kill her! It's so obvious, just like the flying lady I saw before! But she wasn't flying, Larry! Aha! Uh -huh. Sure, Larry, sure. But it's really true, I tell you. This pendant is an important part of the time machine, so it me. I begged it for help, and it really did send me back in time! Are you listening to herself? Did you? Are you being, wait, what? what? What is she doing? Is she is she putting salt in the pan and then like stirring it up like she's cooking something? Are you like normally a cook or something? It, is that in your profile? Oh, she says she works as a maid for the Sprocket family. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> oh my God. I even experienced reception again, even though we'd already held it once before. And during it, everyone there acted as if nothing unusual was happening at all. Um, do not cook while we're talking, please. All right. So when and how did you come under suspicion for murder? Well, after the reception ended, the second reception I mean, I went back to the reception hall and started cleaning up the place by myself. Hold on. Cleaning? Why are you cleaning on your own wedding day? For my last task as a servant in the Sprocket household, offered to take on the preparation and clean up of the reception banquet. I, I see. I started to move one of the decorative lanterns in the room. But it was so heavy, I lost control of it, causing it to topple over and break open. And that's what I saw. Mr. Grimsbury's dead body inside the lantern! So you simply happened to be the first person to discover the body, right? That's right. I just kept it. I just came across it by accident. But I became confused and didn't know what to do. That's when some of my in-laws saw me to the conclusion that I had killed him. So this Gloomsbury guy tried to kill Ellen. Then wound up dead himself after Ellen traveled back in time. A time machine and a magic pendant. How could any of this be fucking possible? gonna be one of those cases. Ellie, why don't you tell Nick about the other thing too? But the shadowy finger you saw when you were being attacked. Yes, good idea, Larry. <laughs> Seems like when she's in her prim and proper pose, she doesn't actually like have any other expressions ex except for this one. So you and Larry here were never planning on getting married, right? That's right. We only had a few brief interactions, so I can't say I know him at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellie! How can you say that? We've known each other for a whole fucking ten minutes. Does that mean nothing to you? You and me are about my fate. I'm telling you, we're meant to be together. There's like 30 other women I've slept with. <laughs> oh God, here we go again. Why did that make you sob? You're wrong, Larry! I know, but so right, baby! This is playing the goatee on my chin! Larry, do you- Don't make me send you to timeout. <laughs> now, can you tell me about the groom, Ellen? What's he like? <laughs> She's got an iron out! His name is Sword and Sprocket. Oh, he's the most wonderful man. Truly isn't my destiny. Okay, he's probably the killer then. <laughs> Did you say sword sprocket? As in. That's right! The next president of Sprocket Aviation! Wait, he's in line to take over the company. Huh! He's not but a rich spool, brat! I'm clearly the better choice! Clearly, dude! Yeah, clearly. 
Larry, you and Soren are as different as night and day. The snow compares. <laughs> you're nothing to him. Ellie, you're breaking my ink, you're breaking your heart! So she's marrying into money, huh? Kepley Soren chose me, a simple house servant. He's my knight in shining armor, my prince. Oh, oh my Soren. Hmm. Okay. So what's the shadowy figure you saw, Ellen? It was. It was when Mr. Gloomsbury was attacking me. Right after I made a bush upon this pendant, I started to pass out. But just then, just as I lost consciousness, I saw somebody strike Mr. Gloomsbury from behind. Y you did? Then that person must be the true culprit. Did you see who it was? I I'm afraid not. I've told anybody else about this. Okay, so you didn't really fucking time travel, right? You just, like, passed out. I, I'm getting, I'm guessing. And then got moved to another room. To some of my in-laws, but nobody took me seriously. They said it was all just a dream. Looks like I say I blame them. I mean, time travel? What the dicks? Larry, for my peace of mind, please tell me that figure wasn't you. <laughs> of course it wasn't, dude. I mean, maybe? I don't know. I was kind of wasted last night. I'm back to crying again! Because I've asked her all I can for now. She's <laughs> 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 crazy, I think! I just clean the window. <laughs> spick and spin! Spick and spin! Um, Ellen? What are, what are you doing? I want to make everything clean and beautiful for when the wind comes! You can't have my beef, future hubby! Come into a dirty room, cow cow! That's <laughs> spotless! Just like this white dress! Spotless! Spick and spin! Spick and spin! So we can wipe away all suspicion from you soon, too. Or you lose our goddamn mind. Nick, you back into the privacy railway, dude. I'm gonna be your mind in this case. Fuck, no. What, you're coming to God, please, no. Why? Why do you have to be such a central part of this, too? God damn it, Larry. Even in the Ace Attorney investigations, you were just like a dumb witness I had to break, whose decimal I had to break some. Didn't go as far to be a fucking Maya for a case. Because we're best friends forever. No, we're not. I solved the crime, revealed the true killer with my super sleuthing skills. How they might change your mind about me, you know? You never got the get the message, do you, Larry? Next up, a morning dog in Sprague Park. Come on, Dick. Let's go, dude. Uh Okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> I'll be straight with you guys. This case is not off to a good start for me. September 21st, Sprocket Park, Morning Doc! It's Sprocket Park, but where's the reception hall? I see a little beagle over there. Reception hall? Oh, that's, uh... Flying Chapel. Wow, look at there, dude! What? What is it? I just bought me a cute man, Mama Cena! Do it up, Nick! Hold on! Where's the reception hall? Sorry, Nick! Man's gotta stop and smell the roses when they appear. You know what I mean. Larry gonna go score some sweet puss. See you later, loser. I'm an artist after all. I'll miss you. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes, go run. Run, Larry. I feel sorry for sacrificing that woman to get rid of Larry for me, but it had to be done. Ah, thought he was going to take me to the crime site. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll come soon. get back when he inevitably gets rejected. So a quick look around till then. God damn it, Larry. You're not, like, change at all. It's become slightly less... Slightly more redeeming and less annoying. Hi, doggy. Oh, I can't examine doggy. Wow. You sure there was more to this skinny little tower. No, it's tied down and all, but it still looks like a good breeze could send it flying. Wow, that airship is huge. Oops. Didn't mean to say that out loud. I've only ever seen airships like this in the, up in the sky. Gotta say, they might, they're mighty impressive when you can see them up close like this. My map over here? Is this bench, bench hit that sign, huh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully it didn't hit a person too. That'd be a catastrophe. Because from now on, whenever I'm walking around outside, better be on the lookout for unidentified flying furniture too. I wasn't even trying to look at that. Wow, this thing's really banged, banged up. Uh, uh, you look, you looking at the sign? They say it got damaged by heavy winds yesterday. Big gusts sent that bench flying into it. 
Uh, that's what they're saying, anyway. I see. Wouldn't cause that. More like a tornado. The repair guy was saying, don't touch. It's dangerous. I see. Thanks for the heads up. Poor guy. Looks like it was a lot of work. Oh, damn it. I'm back. Hey, sorry about that. Actually thought you'd be back sooner. Didn't work out, huh? <laughs> Lay off, man! What's up my game today? It's because I came here with you, Nick. Throw me off my game, man! So you're done. You mind telling me where the reception hall is already? What do you mean? It's right there in front of you, dude! Huh? Right in front of- Wait. What's that? Flying- What? Does that say Flying Chapel? Do you mean to tell me- Yep! How's reception was on that airship, dude! Whoa! Sky High Reception Hall. Yep, that's where you find the crime scene. Man, not only does the airship fly through the sky, but the space time continuum did it. The happy couple's honeymoon got left for left far behind when it made that time skip though. Here, check the airship out for yourself with this pamphlet. The pamphlet for the Flying Chapel includes a brief introduction and diagrams of its layout. Okay. By the way, I figured you could use some backup, so I called in some help for you. You did? Yep. Should be here any minute now. Uh. Oh my god. Is it Edgeworth? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes, it is! That red sports car. Oh, thank you! Okay, now we're making a 180 back into Awesome Town, guys. Larry, don't tell me you called. You know it, buddy! I trust you've been well, right? Oh, oh. Hey! Surprise! Now, I'm in it! That was a pretty good Mr. Edgeworth impression, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you! <laughs> oh, Maya! Hey! That's also good. What a miss. Wait, did you drive over here? Maya! What are you doing here? Da 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 da. <laughs> Larry called me up! He said something about it finally being time for him to tie the old knot. But that, that's funny. I'm pretty sure he mentioned something about being here with his bride. <laughs> Maya, I know son, but please wear it. <laughs> God damn it, Larry. Fucking rebounding. Ah! You just got hot all of a sudden. And you're finally legal. Nick, what's Larry talking about? It was dumped by his bride. Well, by his imaginary bride anyway. Run, Maya. Wow. Poor Larry. That's a new low. Even for him. Poor Larry? Seriously? Hey! Imagine your girlfriend's never hurt anyone, right? More power to him. This is Maya Faye. Do you steal Edward's car? Is he with you? She's been abroad for her training as a spear medium. But now their training's over. She's back home here in the States. That's right. The new and improved Maya Faye is on the scene! I have mastered my ultimate demon power! Spirit and girl power at the ready! Ha! <laughs> huh, look at you, Maya! All growing up and as cute as ever! Oh, you know what? I just realized something! If I ever got married, I miss out on all the fun of always be meeting somebody new! How old is Maya supposed to be again? I know we've already checked, I just... She's supposed to be in her 20s, right? Yeah, she's 28. She's, she's well legal by this point! So you haven't changed a bit, Larry. Okay, I, I was like, I, I have to be with her, right? There's no way I let Maya drive my car. <laughs> it's worth more than any of your lives. Hi, guys. Oh, good, yes. That's worth my love. I figured that car belonged to you. When did you become Maya's chauffeur? It's nothing like that. I just happened to run into her en route and picked her up. God damn it, Larry. Why did you call me out here, you piece of shit? I thought we would never speak to you again. That's what I said. And by run into her, I mean she jumped out in front of my car. Nearly ran her down. <laughs> Woo! This is Miles Edgeworth. He's a friend of mine and lover. And district's chief prosecutor. I heard he's been been busy lately. So what brings you here? Wait. Don't tell me Larry called you up too. He did. However, I have business of my own here at the crime scene. Business? What kind of business? Oh, are you gonna be the prosecutor? You're gonna be like the, the old days. 
That's not a uh, dumb DLC case. <laughs> uh, not well, not the the dumb thirty minute DLC case. Does he know right? I'm I'm the lead prosecutor in this case. Oh, all right, yeah, okay, all right. This is getting this is getting better now. What? You? Yes. Bears will be standing on opposite ends of the battlefield this time around. So we'll be up against Edgeworth tomorrow. All right. Oh yes. But I don't get it, Edgeworth. What about this case warrants the personal attention of the district's chief prosecutor? It's a bit complicated, to say the least. In what way? The groom is a member of the Sprockets, a family with immense influence. If his bride were to stand trial in court, it would sell the Sprocket name. So they try to apply some pressure on the prosecutor's office. Pressure to settle it amicably, right? What do you mean, settle it amicably? Means they were trying to sweep this whole thing under the rug. Wow, Sprocket Aviation really has that much clout? Yes, they have especially strong ties in both the political and judicial worlds, to the point where no one dares oppose them. Don't tell me that includes you. Don't be ridiculous, right? It's quite the opposite. <laughs> they bow to me. <laughs> the prosecutor's office is filled with cowards, as I found out. Every last one of my subordinates was loathed to prosecute a sprocket. Even Sebastian, that little pussy. I'm sorry, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm just not ready yet. Come on, Sebastian, you gotta stand on your own two feet sometime. I feel like you've kinda tossed me in the deep end though, Mr. Edgeworth. So that's why I decided to take on the case yourself, right? That's right. I will personally see to it that the justice is served. I always prosecute to the utmost of my abilities, regardless of who I'm up against. For that is a part of my creed. Nothing and no one can sway me from that, not even the almighty sprockets. R right. They think they can use their influence to bend the truth. They have another thing coming. You know, I almost feel sorry for them. They're only trying to protect their interests. But all they got instead was you. <laughs> Damn right. Fear me. Hey, Jake, come on, man. How can you prosecute my poor sweet Ellie? What kind of heartless jerk are you, dude? I should be the one saying that to you, Larry. Huh, simply doing my job. Now I'm warning you right. I won't hold back, not for you or anyone else. Thanks for the warning, your righteousness. Come on, we've done this a million times, man. I know neither one of us is gonna hold back. That's why it's so awesome. So how's it going, Mr. Chief Prosecutor? Busy as always, I presume. Of course, unlike somebody who has too few clients and too much time on his hands. Huh, this explains why your brow is more furrowed than the last time I saw you. Maybe you should learn to relax a bit, Ed a little Edgeworth. Huh, nice try, right? But as always, I have no intention of showing anyone any mercy, including you. As inflexible as ever, I see. <laughs> Damn, I'm in game mode right now, baby. Besides, I've mellowed out a bit with, my with age. So if anything, those furrows should have smoothed out a little as well. Honestly, Edgeworth, are you really, sh are you really that blind to yourself? <laughs> Excuse me. He's really self-conscious about those lines, isn't he? I know just how to push his buttons. Edgeworth, about this incident. Don't forget right, I'm the prosecutor of this case. Need I remind you that I'm not in the habit of sharing information with my adversaries? N no, guess we are adversaries for now. And you, Larry, fuck off. <laughs> me? I'd like you to come with me. You have a lot to answer for after that little stunt you pulled with the suspect. <laughs> but Edgy, we're all powers, are we? No, I was never friends with you. Personal appeals won't work on me, Larry. Now come along. Well, Nick, help me out here, dude. No. Oh, thank God. Saved by the Edgy. Peace out, home Dizzle! Oh, thank God. Quiet. Sweet quiet. Hey, Nick! Ah! Oh, God. It's just me here, Mr. Edgeworth, as relentless as ever. Yeah, guess some things never change. So much for mellowing out. Well, Nick, better have a hop to it, too. Yay! I've got my actual Maya back as my Maya. <laughs> hop to what? To see the crime scene, of course! What else? It's been a long time since you and I teamed up like this. It's gonna be fun. F fun, huh? Has has been a long time though. Since we were last together like this. Alright. Another crime saying that. Yeah! 
And away we go! Yeah, just for fun. I'm kind of curious. If I go back to the right, anything agency? Can I now examine shit? Oh, wait. First, I gotta show Maya. Hey! Look what I got! Your dirty smash looks so nice and shiny on your lapel. It's so cool. Like the mark of a true hero. If I can be a hero to my clients, it's good enough for me. In that case, I'll be the commander that controls the hero here from behind the scenes. Wait. You saying you've been manipulating me all this time? Go, Robo, right! <laughs> to the crime scene! Guess what makes me a Robo lawyer? Go, Megatron! Uh. Oh, yep, I do! Come on, spaghetti Maya! Ooh! There's all kinds of interesting stuff here! Look, like this hoop! Ah uh -huh. That's not a hoop for hula hooping, you know. No, it's a. It's a hoop used for levitation magic, right? Ah! Ah, Gino! Hey, I keep up with the times, man! I'm gonna think of it. Used to be pianos, right, Nick? So play something for me. I'm not really good enough to play in front of other people. <laughs> or myself. Can I play it? No way. We're gonna go play from the hotel next door. No fair! <gasps> Just a glorified shelf if nobody plays it, you know. Pretty much. Just like everything else in this place. I don't use any of it. So, you thinking about a new look, Nick? What are you talking about? That red jacket. Oh, that's Apollo's. Huh? You should wear a little red every once in a while. But, hmm. It's not really your color, is it? And again, you never wear anything but blue. So why not give it a try? <laughs> Here you go, Nick! Put it on! Um, like I said, it's not even mine! Put it on, Nick! <laughs> no, it's not even mine! Ah, remember when you used to be a dirty, smelly hobo? Oh, wait, I wasn't around for that. Whoa! It's one of those zigzag cabinets from Dividing Person into Three. I've never seen one in real life before. It's one of Trucy's magic props. Ooh, let's try it out. I don't know. It's probably dangerous to get in that thing if you don't know how it works. Ah, uh, come on, Nick. Mr. Amp, get in there already! Why am I the one on the choppy block here? You're gonna die, Nick! Is These are all your case files, right? Yes. There's private information on my clients in there, too. So no snooping. Mm -hmm. What's this? Affecting teleportation magic. Ah! Oh. She must have swapped out my files for our magic books! Damn it! Damn it, Charlie! It's Charlie! <laughs> His branches are as handsome as ever! Charlie seems happy to see you too, Maya. His things are greener than usual today. Well, he looks super healthy! We always make sure he's watered and well cared for. By we, I mean Athena and Trissy. Good plant! Okay, I think that's everything in here. I feel like a little fluff deck stick. That's right. Okay, let's go do what we were supposed to do.